China is not what I expected. Recently, many vloggers from other countries have said so after visiting China. Recently, many young Americans came to China for the Zhixin China U.S. China Youth Leaders Dialogue Program. What a pleasant coincidence! Let's go chat with them and see what did they think of China and whether their views on China have changed after coming here. Let's go! It's not enough. Diverse. Impressive. Insightful. I'd say insightful. Patience. Immersive. Eye-opening. I've been to Beijing now, and I've been to Chengdu. Of course, like in a lot of the times in the U.S., we think of racial diversity, and China doesn't necessarily have that same level of racial diversity. But something that they do have is, I mean, just as much cultural diversity. The food in Chengdu and the food in Beijing is completely, you know, different. There's different flavors, different styles of. Uh, the way people talk, the way people dress. I think that uh, everything in China is different. It's a beautiful country. It's also a country that has such a profound history and such a, a detailed culture that, in a way, beginning to study in the time that I've spent here studying Chinese history, culture, and the language, I almost can't remember the days that I was in America. I, you know, it seems like it was. I've been here for four weeks. I almost feel as if I've been here for four years. Because there are a lot of cultural details that you can't really learn from textbooks or you know through the newspaper media. Um, experience itself is a form of knowledge, and I'm really honored to be here and you know have this learning experience that you, you can only get in China. I think that um, there are a lot of like preconceptions that I had about China um, that I had bef uh, before coming here. And I think that a lot of them have been adjusted or completely shattered. Being here for an extended period of time, it's been a very、um, enlightening experience, and I feel like I've learned a lot about myself and a lot about the world around me because of being here. I really enjoy hearing from the Chinese students, especially because there was just a lot of different opinions, which I really found insightful. It's like when we're communicating with each other,、um, we are very patient with each other, and、um, I liked hearing different people talk about why they felt one way, and then like invite others into the conversation. Like we're very, very, very patient with each other. Just how efficient a lot of things are.、Uh, coming from America, I did not realize how, how slow a lot of things were until I came here. And I think now that like everything is like so quick and efficient that it makes like me going like the idea of going back and having to like do everything super slowly again is just kind of like a little bit annoying. I would say all the Chinese students that I've met, their English is amazing and they're all very kind. So、uh, I've been really impressed with how hospitable everybody is. I've been surprised. By how welcoming、um, Chinese people are, I think my favorite thing to do is like to just ride the subway and just start conversations with people, <laughs> even if it's just like kids that'll stare at me for a little bit. Like just talking to people and actually getting to practice my Chinese and trying to make it better and learning about the culture has been really nice. I feel like I didn't realize the range of Chinese culture. We come here, like even in food, it's been so diverse. Like I've tried dishes I've never even heard of and stuff like that. We go to like different cities, and I'm like, wow, like I didn't even know like Chengdu existed. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Dongbei Thai. Guo Guo Bao Yo. 对对对对对对。What they see fun. Yep.、Uh, the most impressive thing is the diversity within Chinese culture.、Uh, a lot of times we clump Chinese culture into one thing, but there is, I think there are like more than 50、uh, ethnic minority groups in China, and there's so much to learn and so much to do. You know, one trip is never enough. So the quality of Beijing, and you know, if you live in America, you grow accustomed to the fact that every city has homelessness, every city has crime, every city has rats, but Beijing. Is a city with zero homelessness. It's unbelievably clean,、um, and、um, it's unbelievably safe. To me, it's 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 a it's almost a miracle. It's un, it was unimaginable to me before that there could be even be a city that is managed so well as Beijing and have such a huge population.